Okay, I have a couple examples here of composition of functions, and this is to do page 465 and 6 of your homework. So, 465 and 466 in your textbook. Alright, so I have two functions defined in function notation. f of x equals 3x minus 5, and another function, g of x equals root x. Now, when you're solving these, you have to pay attention and make sure you use the proper function with the proper number x. In example one, I have a combination of f of g of 4. So go to the innermost function first, g of 4. So that's what we're going to figure out, g of 4. So first thing, I need to figure out which one of the two equations I should use. For g of 4, should I do f of x or g of x? Right, I hope you guessed g of x. So g of x equals root x. So g of x equals root x. So g of 4 equals root 4. And now figure that out. Root 4 is 2. All right, now I take that 2 and I replace it because I just figured out g of 4 equals 2. So this now can become f of 2. Now I have to figure out the function again, f of 2. Should I go to the g of x or the f of x? I hope you said f of x. So f of x is equal to 3x minus 5. f of 2 equals 3 times 2 minus 5. 3 times 2 is 6 minus 5 is 1. Final answer. So, f of g of 4 becomes f of 2 and finally becomes 1 as the final answer. All right. Now, if you think you understand how to do this, maybe you should stop the video and try to do this one first. So write it down, g of f of 4. Pause the video, try it yourself, and then watch me do it. Okay. Here we go g of f of 4. So go to the innermost function and do that one first. So I need to do f of 4 with the f of x equation. So I write down the f of x. It equals 3x minus 5. Now I'm going to figure f of 4. That means 3 times 4 minus 5. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 minus 5 is 7. So f of 4 is 7. So now I have to do g of 7, because I substituted my answer for f of 4 in that parenthesis. So now, g of 7, go to this equation, g of x equals root x. So g of 7 equals root 7, and I'm done. Final answer. Okay, a couple more examples. So two more functions. Find the following, g of 1. Well, which equation do you think I go to? Right, the g equation. So, um, g of 1, in this case, is going to equal, putting a 1 in for x, 2 times 1 minus 4, which is 2 minus 4, negative 2. f of g of 1. Well, I already have g of 1, so now I can rewrite this as f of negative 2. I use substitution. g of 1 is negative 2. How do I find f of negative 2? Go to the f equation. So f of x equals x plus 4 over 2. So f of negative 2 has to equal negative 2 plus 4 over 2. 2 over 2, 1. So final answer on this one, 1. All right, how about this one, f of g of 3? Go to the inside first. Let's find g of minus 3. Go to the g equation, and I do 2 times minus 3 minus 4. Minus 6 minus 4, negative 10. All right, we got negative 10 for the g of 3. That becomes a substitution. So now I do f of negative 10 in the f equation, so negative 10 plus 4 over 2. Negative 10 plus 4 
negative 6 over 2, negative 3. So final answer for this problem, negative 3. How about f g of f of negative 3? That means go to the f equation first with negative 3. So negative 3 plus 4 over 2, 1 over 2. So now I have g of 1 half. What do I do with that? Go to the g equation. So 2 times 1 half minus 4. 2 times 1 half is 1. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Final answer. So, composition of functions. You can do this.